welcome back I have a lot of books with me. My whole entire couch is covered with books and my bookshelf is empty. There's a lot going on and you're probably like, why isn't everything in its place? Are you moving? I am not moving. I'm just getting rid of all of them to be dramatic. But yesterday I decided that since it's the end of the year, I really want to declutter my space and get rid of books that I no longer want in my collection. I did two videos like this this year where I picked out some books that I just won't read anymore and I went to sold them or donated them. And I kind of want to do that again, but just like, a really intense one where I am like super strict and if I'm not gonna read it if I don't have plans on reading it or rereading it then it has to go I am going in a sense of like no excuse like if I have to debate on like if I want to keep it then it's going which is kind of sad as a book lover because I just love being around books like being around words and language it's just fun but I'm also like hoarding books in a sense where I read the book I did not like it I liked nothing about it and I'm still keeping the book because I read it and I feel like to me, there that's just taking up space and every book is so different. Like someone out there in the world is going to love this book. So I might as well pass it on. There's no point in me keeping that book. I also have a bunch of books because I started collecting books and growing my collection back in like high school. I know a lot of the books I read in high school, I would never read now. So I'm like, what's the point of keeping the books? It is time for me to do like a good declutter, a good selling all my books, getting rid of them if I don't want them in my collection. So I started doing that yesterday. I did record and I do have some footage but my room was terribly messy like it was disgusting and I was so embarrassed so I would film in like certain angles but I'm so sure you could still see the mess so last night I did my best to clean my room I even took out like this trash bundle that I have in my corner you can actually see my rug which is great. So I feel like I can do a full video today. This is my current collection. These are all the books that I want to keep and I have gone through them with a selective lens. This pile right here is all the books that I want to sell whether it's on Pango Books or my local indie bookstore because they also accept books. I've also researched a few places near me that buy books, so hopefully I can drop these off and see what they will take. This little baby corner is my donation pile. I said this in yesterday's video, but I have a lot in my to sell pile more than I do in my donation pile. I was thinking if I try to sell every book that I want to get rid of and it happens to be bought, great. And if like some of them don't get bought and I don't know what to do, I'll just donate them. I feel like it's easier and better to try to sell them and get some money back so I can buy new books that I will love. And then if they don't get bought, I will just donate them like I was going to do in the first place. This is my empty bookshelf. Dun, dun, dun. So this is not trash. This is my bag of holiday gifts and then this is my bag of packaging that I will use to sell books. Put this over here along with this fat boy. Yes, I still have a little trash corner, but it's significantly better than yesterday. Walking over to my closet, which I did not close and I still have so much clothes. That's so funny. Next to my bedside, I have this stack of books, a lot of books actually, that I need to go through and this was like my biggest barrier. That's so embarrassing. I think I'm gonna grab all of these books and put them over there so the lighting is better for first, but also because it's right next to the couch and that's where I did my organization and it will be a lot easier that way. I wish I had like a little cart I could things on. I'm gonna do something kind of controversial, but I'm gonna throw them. So, don't be mad, people. It had to be done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the saddest part. Oh my gosh, I'm so... <gasps> I knew it. I knew it. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> this is a pile of books. There is a lot to go through, so let's get started. I'm going to take the same route as I did yesterday where I just go through every single book and then put them in the keep, sell, and donate pile. 
this is when I have to read realistic because I bought this book with high intentions of reading it. Like it looks so good. It's been a year and I haven't read this and I don't know if I will to be honest. Another thing that makes me feel better is that if I haven't read a book and I'm gonna let it go, I can remind myself that I could get it at the library, I could get it on Libby. And so if I feel like reading it like six months later but I already let it go, it will still be available to me. Like I am not, like I don't wanna hoard like I just don't want to hold on things that just take up space and it clutters my room and it clutters my mind. So I really just want to free up some space and I keep on reminding myself that. Like I'm letting it go, someone else is going to enjoy it, but that doesn't mean that I can no longer read it. Like it will be at the library, it will be on Libby, and worst comes to worst, it will be at a bookstore and I'll just have to get it again. But at least for that six months, someone else enjoyed it and it's not that it's collecting dust in my room. That's what I'm telling myself, so. This is a sell. One of my favorite books. Just bought this. Okay, so the thing with Coho is that I used to read a lot of Coho. I don't read Coho anymore. I feel like my reading palette, my taste has changed. But sometimes I do think about them and I'm like, oh, I want to read that one page. And so I'm kind of like, do I keep them? I think I might have to. I keep on saying I'm going to read this book and it's been like three years so I think I have to sell it. Turtles All the Way Down, John Green. It's actually a signed copy, which is so cool. But once again, I I don't know if I'm gonna get to it so I think I have to donate it. Like, like. The Color Purple. I read this book in high school. I actually really like this edition. Like I feel like it's really classic but easy to read. And I think they're making a new movie, like a, an updated version because I know a movie is already made on The Color Purple but I think they're gonna make a 2024 version or something. It is a very powerful story, but if you're going to read it, definitely check the trigger warnings. There's a lot of content in there that could trigger you. Definitely look into that and know what you're going into because that's really important. why I don't think I'm gonna keep it I didn't enjoy it that much but I also had a middle school teacher who shoved this book in everyone's faces they were she was like it's so good why aren't you guys reading more she was like going off and she was it started off as a rant of like why aren't you guys reading more I feel like this generation is all stuck on their phones and computers and you guys only care about pop culture read a book that's how her rant started off and then she picked this book specifically and was like everyone needs to read this book it is so important it teaches you so much and I think that is like really intense to put this book in front of like a 12 year old like if we were in sixth grade like that is really intense because this book has some content that like not every kid is going to want to read specifically at the age of 12 when we are so impressionable we are so vulnerable and these topics are kind of mature are kind of like serious it just felt like a lot and like i can't believe she did that oh i think this book is so cool because it comes with look at these they're like playing cards but they have the characters on them look at this character art. I'm a sucker for character art and that is absolutely gorgeous. I need to read this book though so I'm gonna leave it there. I have one book in the Ice Planet Barbarian series and it's like the one book in the series that I did not really enjoy. Like I gave this one to three stars and most of them I give like five or four stars. Um, so I'm kind of like why do I have this book out of all the books but also more importantly I think I've reached that point in this series where things are kind of repetitive. They're kind of not boring, but it's kind of like expected. Nothing is like it's predictable, like nothing is blowing my mind. And so I think when I read this book, I was like reaching that point and I think I just kind of got bored. This is my current view. Kind of sad because I think all of these books that I'm gonna keep can fit on my bookshelf. So I will no longer have a need to put all those books in a corner. Everything I wanna sell, some more books I wanna sell, and then my donation pile. Moving on, we're also gonna fill up my bookshelf just so I can get it all off my couch and it's not a big cluttered mess in here. I just had lunch and I wanted to show you the snack. This is the best thing in the world. It's tempura seaweed. Seaweed that they fried in tempura batter. It's so good. 
it's my second bag. I don't have a clear organization, but I know I want series together because in my last bookshelf organization, I didn't have series together and it was so chaotic and messy and I hated it. So I want series together, but I also want this first bookshelf, maybe these first two, to be dedicated to books that are new to me. Like I just got them, I just bought them, so I want to read them and if they're... If they're where I can see them, I think I will be more likely to reach for them. These are a bunch of new books. We're getting somewhere. The Addicted series and the Twisted series. I think this one goes first. Emily Henry, Twisted series, um, Standalone, and Intercepted. Or not Intercepted, the Playbook series. <laughs> Perfect. I definitely underestimated how many books I have and I have a feeling they won't all fit on this bookshelf seeing how fast it's filling up so I need to think of like a plan B like what's gonna go in that corner <laughs> This, okay, what was that? <laughs> this is the current state of my bookshelf. I really like it. And then you have all of these. <sighs> I kind of have a slight organization. Like all the books in the top shelf are new books, books that I just received, books that I just bought. All of those are on the top shelf so I know that I can read them and I can see them and I can grab them easily. Moving on to the second shelf, we have more of my like longer series. So we have like the Addicted Callaway Sister series, Kennedy Ryan books, Twisted series, Shatter Me series, and then the, the Love Light Farm series. Oh, you can't really see it. I really like the way I organize that. I think it just makes a lot of use of good space, like things stacking on each other, things laying horizontally. It just looks good as well. This shelf is a little bit chaotic, but I kind of like it. It has all of my favorite like books and series. Like I have my classics, like To All the Boys I Love, Icebreaker, Ali Hazel books, or Helen Huang books, and then two series on top of the longer style of like the books I put this way. We have Folk of Air and then the Bromance Book Club, which I love. Below that, these are standalone books, like books that I only have one of in a series, or if I only have one book from the author. They all kind of go down here, and it follows similarly on the bottom shelf. Like these are all just like standalone or like one book. I have come to the point where I think I'm just going to go through whatever I do have left and start taking out books in the standalone part that I have already read so I can put in books that I haven't read yet so it's easier to grab. Because I feel like once I put in a pile in a corner, it's not... I don't reach towards it as much as you would think I do. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I don't reach for it as much as I reach for my bookshelf. So I'm going to be more strategic about this. Is my phone ringing? It's so much more organized than my like huge piles. I'm just a girl. I do have a junk basket but it looks really cute there too <laughs> there we have it section done my bookshelf done it looks so good i love it i think i will probably donate these to either my library or a thrift store just because i don't know where else i would donate them oh little free libraries i think that would be so cute actually i think i'll do little free libraries because these are all books that are super like they're great books and they're new and they're arcs which are really cool to find so i think if i put them in little free libraries that is so they're so cool these are the books that i am ready to part ways with and i can say goodbye to i think i'm gonna go through them and kind of organize like these are the pango books that i'm gonna sell on pango which is an app that you can sell books it's kind of like makari but specifically just for books and i'm gonna do another pile of books i'm gonna sell to a local bookstore because they also take books and i feel like pango books is a little bit more specific like they're gonna buy like newer books like for example i feel like pango would buy this book 
book and I could make a little bit more if I were to sell this to a bookstore where they would probably give me like three dollars for this if I'm lucky. Where on Pango I feel like I could sell this for like seven dollars. <laughs> so excited for things to start happening on my pango books because i have never used it before and i'm having so much fun listing books and just looking at like what other people are selling like what they're trying to declutter from their collection so it's really fun and i feel like if i make some money i'm just probably gonna spend it on more books because the balance will already be there so i'm really excited about that yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy thanks for decluttering my books with me and getting rid of them but also making space for new books thank you so much for watching thanks for staying on this journey and i'll catch you on the flip side peace I packed everything in my car so you don't have to watch me do the whole running back and forth. I'm so tired because I've been running like up and down the stairs just to get everything in my car. And this isn't even the full thing, but I'm just too lazy to run back up. Look at all those chickens.